He just drunk shit water. Mark's a motherfucking renegade! What would you call these monsters then? I don't know, Tony. Uh, maybe. That's a fig will. A what? A what? Squirrel. This is a. I did. It's a wit. A, a squirrel dial. <laughs> okay. With <laughs> a fish. I was gonna. Squirrel. And a this crocodile. is a dial. This is a fiblet. Look at him. Ah! A little fiblet. <laughs> so uh, they dropped Dark Eco and. Um, Basically, that fills up a meter. I don't know if I can even show you. Oh, yeah, look. See the little flashing purple yes. bit? Yeah, so that fills up. And then once you get that, you can turn into dark. Dark Jack. And do the darkness stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Positive Jack as well. Isn't like in the first one, you can become as well, isn't there? What's that, sir? Isn't there like a good version you can become too as, as Jack? Of, yes, but not in this game. It's ah. in Jack 3. Yeah, Jack Free, you can. Oh, that's so. the one where you can you can be good or bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Do you want me to just keep playing then? Do hey, you well, mind? Or? Just because it keeps them coming up with like connection issues and I'd rather. Yeah, you... I know. I know the the struggle when I was playing Lego Harry Potter with Claire. It would do that, and I just could not see anything that was going on. Yeah. So sorry, sorry if this isn't. See, you get to experience this game twice, Mark. Once the video's edited, you can watch it again and yeah. be like, "Oh my god, it looks so clear." <laughs> Yeah, oh, I so. like I like doing it because as me and you are such good mates and good friends and stuff. Yeah, no, I like playing. Uh, I like watching you play, and also we can just chat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's a, we haven't seen each other for months, and it oh. looks like it's going to be another couple months before we see each other. Oh, at least, recording. yeah, man. That's at least right. So yeah, being a big hero sure makes you thirsty. Ah. Uh. <laughs> he looks pissed. <laughs> I, I do love how it's like it just they it just drunk shit water. Sorry. <laughs> I love the fact as well the map is very GTA as well when you came. Oh yeah, and it's like oh my god that's hilarious. Yeah, and like they added the guns and there's waypoints and yeah it's just very. Yeah. Well, that explains your charming sense of humor. I do like the script of this game. It's as good as the first one. Uh, and like, or, uh, well, I remember it's quite good so far because you you, you can you can definitely see that aspira aspiration of them then trying to go to more Uncharted and Last of Us with the more sort of mature stuff. That, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, I'm sad we never got a Jack and Dexter two as it was. Um, but at the same time, I really like this game, and I like Jack Free a lot, and I like the whole like story. So, yeah. how was it reviewed? <laughs> game? What did you say? Sorry. Well, how was the how was the game reviewed? Was the was it reviewed very good, or was it reviewed mixed? Or, um, I think it got pretty damn good reviews, as far as I remember. Um, I might be wrong though, but I do I do remember Games Radar at the time rated it not so great. But I, I say that I think it got like a seven out of ten or something. So. Yeah, I think, I don't know, maybe look up the reviews, Mark. There you go, that can give you something to do. <laughs> I don't know, look on uh, good old Metacritic. I, I presume it got, re I think they got reviewed pretty good. Obviously people missed the, the past and were like, it's a bit dark and they're just following a trend, but... At the same time, it's still great game design. I think it's still, oh, well, it's still quality. Eighty-seven percent got Tony this game did. Yes, that's that's great. That's a good score. Lucky yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I'm going to talk about my dirty little cheating secret. <laughs> <laughs> so I play Jack Two on the PS3. So this this is basically the Jack and Dax the collection, right? Um, uh, so I played Jack Two on the PS3 and got so far and. Uh, Basically, all I had left to do for the trophies was collect all the precursor orbs, and the last ones were in a... You get a hoverboard, basically, and it was in a challenge. You have to do the hoverboard challenge to get the orbs. It's quite hard to do. You had to be pretty much perfect at the hoverboard. Um, and then I just gave up, and then when I went back to play the game, wow. my save file had gone completely. And all I had to do was get those orbs, so I was like, oh, I don't really want to play the whole game again for that. Uh, and then I found out there is a glitch you can do. <laughs> so I did the glitch, Mark. You gonna do the glitch now, then, Tony? Uh, no, not right now. I could show it off. Basically, there's these little in the back in the city. See, look at this. This is nice and colourful, isn't it? Yeah, very nice and colourful. Yeah. Reminds me of the original game and a bit of Crash. 
Yeah, yeah. There's loads of nice areas. So these are metalheads. They're the new enemies. So do you remember in the first game you had lurkers? Yes. Yeah. So the lurkers aren't bad anymore. Uh, you, they're not. They're not around. But these guys, the metalheads, are the bad guys. And this is why they've got a city and closed it off. So because of these guys. But these are just like little grunts, and you collect their skulls. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so yeah. what do the skulls do then, Tony? Uh, you use them to get uh, powers, dark eco powers, or dark powers, yeah. So, we'll, we'll use them later on. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait a second, I knew there was an orb around here somewhere, I could smell it. Anyway, so, in the, in the city, the glitch I was talking about, there's these little hide-and-seek games, and you have like 10 seconds to find the golden uh, orb, or egg. Uh, so the golden egg gives you like free eggs, basically. Mm -hmm. So there's only a set amount of these in the game. Um, but basically, you can jump above the egg, pause, and then you... I think you uh, restart the mission. There's like a restart option. Oh, here you go. You restart the mission. And what it does is it restarts the mission, but... When it's restarting it and fades to black, you drop down and collect the egg. That is so clever, man. And then when it restarts the mission, the egg respawns, even though it never should. Because there's only one of them. So you can just keep collecting it over and over again. <laughs> and you can get more eggs than you're meant to be able to collect. <laughs> so I totally did that cheap. I, I'm, I'm not even going to deny it. Uh, well, so, you know, I don't blame you, boss. What happened to your save data then? How come it all disappeared? I think it might have been like on my old PS3, and then I oh, well, then my PS3 it. died, my hard drive died, so yeah, I had to start a game. But yeah, look at this lovely place. It's all wow. pretty. I like it. Ah! Oh, I'm I'm terrible against these marks. Save me. Look at all this ruined city and oh yeah, look how big the wall is as well. Oh, I love that. They, they so they see that big thing with the like cable coming out of it. Yes. Yeah. So you get to climb up one of those. That's so cool. <laughs> cool man. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, do you remember any other games like this where they um re redid it uh, or like rebooted it halfway through the series or do you know what I mean? Uh. Can you think of it? Not like I can remember. I guess GTA down would be one. Being top down to now, I guess. But like, can you think of a like complete tonal shift as well? Because like, the first game is very happy, go lucky, right? Yeah, very happy, go lucky. Yeah. And then this is very like, I want to kill Baron Praxis. So. If you can't remember, uh, think of anything, Tony. Can you think of anything at all? Uh, Prince of Persia kind of had that. Uh, so from Sands yeah, of Time to Warrior yeah, Within. Yeah. Yeah, Warrior Within was very dark. I, I couldn't get into that at all. Really weird how I got into this, but not that. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I, I can get into Evil Warrior, Warrior Within or the third one. Yeah. Really how they make enough, and then they went back to the more cartoony one for really weird Prince of Persia game. Do you remember? See, yeah, me and uh, Jordan swear by that game. We both like that game a lot. Oh, um, it's a good then. I've, I've seen it and it looks really good. But A lot of people don't like it and I can understand why. Um, so there's some stupid things about it. First of all, they got Nolan North to voice the prince. Um, which, I, I think Nolan North's a fantastic voice actor and like, but they just got him to do his normal voice so he sounds like Nathan Drake. And you're like, he's the prince of Persia? Yeah. I think you're missing something here. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. In, um, yeah. Was it Lee, yeah, Lee, that was a bit weird. At least in Santa time, he actually sounded Persian. Yeah, Persian. So, yeah, it was, it's very strange. But uh, not to say that he'd done a bad job. I like I liked that. Um, Did you ever see the film The like, Prince of Persia? That, that was actually a pretty No, I didn't. But they made a game around the same time as that, uh, Forgotten Sands, which went more back to the old style. And I, that was good as well. I really liked that game. Um, it had Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Uh, yeah, it did, which was a bit strange. <laughs> yeah. Um, you that's Jake Gyllenhaal. I thought, I thought he was really Yes, well. no. Yeah, I really like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's cool. Um, what was I going to say? Uh... Yeah, the other thing they don't like about that Prince of Persia, the cell shaded one, is um, it's quite repetitive. There's not much to it. 
Must be you right. literally go to the new areas and do the same thing over and over. And the combat's fairly simple, and you can't really die in the game. So, I yeah. remember that, because don't you have some weird fairy thing that brings you back or something, isn't it? Yeah, she, she catches you and puts you back onto a safe ledge, which I quite like. It saves you from going through, like, um, loading screens and stuff. I don't mind it. I, I think it's done rather well, because, I mean, lives are pretty redundant nowadays, aren't they? So, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm looking over here. I've stopped because I'm looking at this. Do you see these pipes leading to a ledge? Yes. Yeah, I can't get there now, but later on that connects to another area of the game where you can, like, yeah, it all connects together. So cool, man. So, yeah, it's pretty clever. I like it. Right. I can't remember what I'm doing here. Oh, the water pump. We need water, don't we? Because you turned off the water. Oh, yeah, and also this game, I, I think you said, like, it has a day-night cycle, like Jack 2, uh, Jack 1. So I really like that because it makes it feel like really alive. Mm. I, I love that about Jack and Daxter because you could go to a level and it'd be day or night and you're like, oh, this is a different feel to it. I like that a lot. I think it. Uh, I think an advancement from that would be like a weather system, right? It would be, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. See, that guy dropped off, but his, his skull jumped up for me. <laughs> I really like the way that they do like the Pokemon Gold and Silver way. Was, that was 24-7. Do you remember as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually follow the clock. I kind of like that where it follows your clock, but at the same time, if you always play games at the same time, you won't see like the daytime or you won't see the nighttime. Yeah. But oh, here we go. Dax, they're doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> poor Daxter. No, uh, poor Daxter. <laughs> I mean, he kind of deserves it for being too smug and. Oh, I love this bit. <laughs> poor Daxter. Oh, here he comes. That would be terrifying to be stuck in a pipe like that. Same here. Don't say it. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valve.